I would like to first begin by thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for truly tonight is a blessing for all of us being here together and this blessed night. And I'm sorry that I came lately and speaking the first after the Qiraat, mashallah. And thank you, Sheikh uh, Azhari, for Indonesian head. This is a good solidarity for me. <laughs> I can adopt you as an Indonesian as I have been adopted Bengali. So I'm a Bangladeshi by adoption. <laughs> the topic that I'm going to talk briefly tonight for approximately seven minutes, I've been asked for seven minutes. It's about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the fight for racial equality. And the reason I'm choosing this topic because the issue of race or the issue of racial discrimination and racism has been an issue since the beginning of human creations until today. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam alayhi salatu wa salam, he commanded the angel to prostrate, sujood, ikram, wa ihtiram. And one of those who are in the rank of the angel happened to be another angel. He was among the jinn, but he was among the rank of the angels. He was in the rank of the angels. So he was included in that commandment. Allah commanded them all to prostrate to Adam to make sujood, to respect Adam alayhi salatu wasalam, and all the angels did except him. Illa iblis abaw astakbar wa kana min al-kafirin. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked him, ma mana'ak, what really prevented you to make sujood if amartuk, as I commanded you, and the answer was clearly racism, and that is the beginning of racism. And he said, Ana khairun minhu. Simply, I'm better than him. Why? Because you created me from the, fire, from the, from the light, uh, from, sorry, sorry, from the fire, while you created him from clay. And the reason here, brothers and sisters, that when we feel that we are better than anyone else or other people around us because of physical appearance, that's exactly what this racism is. So friends, since then, racism has been a problem in, in the life of humanity. And then you learn about European colonialism, colonialism, colonization of Africa and Asia. Yes, for Mal. They came to Africa and to Asia to get the wealth of Asia and Africa. But one of the reasons is because they are deeply racist, European racism. Until today, my brothers and sisters, in America, you never heard people say European Americans. Have you heard any European American? There, there is African American, there is an Arab American, there is a Bangladeshi American, there is an Indian American, but very rare, almost no one is called European Americans. Why? Because that mentality. So, brothers and sisters, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had come. One of the most important mission is to fight against racism. And before he was sent to Arabia at the time, the Arabia was deeply racist. And you know the story of Bilal radiallahu anhu. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came down with a'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim Number one, Allah says that we are all created from the same source of creation. And it's from Turab. So if tonight you go back home, you sleep tonight well, and tomorrow morning, go to the mirror, and you see your face, oh, Shamsi Ali doesn't have any long beard. <laughs> oh, mashallah, Maulanas, you have long beard, mashallah. Oh, my skin is black, my skin is white. Ask, what is the difference? Actually, difference is only the survey. If you take off the skin, it's the same thing. Red blood, white flesh, almost the same. Why? Because we came from the same source of creation. We all came from the clay. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declared in the Holy Quran, Ya ayyuhal nasu taqu rabbakum alladhi khalaqakum min nafsin wahida. 
We came from the same soul, Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. And why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned soul here? Because despite of physical differences that we have, ethnic differences, racial differences, cultural affiliation differences, we have the same soul. What is our soul? Fitrat Allah illati fataran nasa alayha la tabdila li khalqillah dhalika din al qiyam. We have the same soul. And then Allah declare again by saying what? Ya ayyuhal nasu inna khalaknakum min dhakarin wa untha. وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَبَائِلَ لِتَعَارَفُوا إِنَّ أَكْرَمَكُمْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ أَتْقَاكُمْ This ayah, brothers and sisters, is very popular. Looks like only brief. That's a lot of points. Number one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is declaring that we humans actually belong to the same one universal human family. We all belong. We all belong to the same family. And that is the family of Adam alayhi salatu wasalam and Hawa alayhi salatu wasalam. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us into many nations and tribes. يَعَنَّاكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَبَائِلًا For what? Not to despise one another, not to hate one another, but لِتَعَارَفُ Now what is the meaning of ta'aruf? Ta'aruf is not only to know where are you coming from, Shaykh Hassan, from Egypt. MashaAllah, you eat mahshia from Egypt. It is not ta'aruf. Ta'aruf is more than that, my brothers and sisters. At least five. Five levels. Number one, to know each other. Yes, to know your name, to know where you come from, what food you eat. That is to know each other. And then by knowing each other, you will be able to build what is called a tafahum, an understanding. MashaAllah, he eats an Indian food, a lot of spice. No, you don't like my food because I eat a lot of spice. But it doesn't mean you, you hate me. It is simply because it's not your taste. So I understand. This is called a tafahum. And if we have that at-tafahum, you will be able to build what we call at-tarahum, compassion for one another. And this Ummah brothers, our connection to one another is not blood connection, actually. It is not skin color connection. It is not ethnic connection. But what? Muhammadur Rasulullah, walladhina ma'ahu, ashidda'u al-kufar, ruhama. What is our connection? Our connection is rahmah. And rahmah is here. Either you are Bangladeshi or Pakistani or Arabs or Africans, we have one connection, and our connection is rahmah, ruhama ubainahum. This is number three. And if we are able to build the atarahum, compassionate to one another, we will be able to build what we call atta'awun. Why this ummah cannot work together? Why we are lacking unity? Because we are lacking atarahum in the first place. We don't have rahmah, brothers and sisters. And that's why we cannot build unity. One of the big problems we are facing today is friction, divisions. Either it is in a small community or in a global community as the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu There is no unity. Why? Because we are lacking tarahum. We are lacking rahmah. That's why we have to build this rahmah so that we can build ta'awun. And beyond ta'awun, my brothers and sisters, what we call takaful. And that is يُؤْثِرُونَ عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ وَلَوْ كَانَ بِهِمْ خَصَاصًا And we need that, brothers and sisters. We need that. You know, I used to mention to this, this, this ayah, unfortunately, to the non-Muslim when I am speaking to the interfaith dialogue setting. And I said, we are all human beings. When we need to build this at takaful And what does it mean, takaful I say to the Jewish people, you are facing Islam of uh, anti-Semitism, right? They say, yes. I say, I am facing Islamophobia too. Why we cannot do takaful? You fight Islam against Islamophobia, I can fight against anti-Semitism. That's it, between humans. How about between Muslims? How about, why we cannot have this takaful, my brothers and sisters? Yes, America is the most blessed place for the Muslim. Why? Because here in America, we represent the faces of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the time of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you have Salman al-Farisi, you have Bilal al-Habashi, you have Suhaib al-Rumi, and then our Arab brothers and sisters. They come together, blended as one ummah. قُلْ إِنَّ هَذِهِ أُمَّتُكُمْ أُمَّةً وَاحِدَةً وَأَنَا رَبُّكُمْ فَعْبُدُونَ We are here in America representing the minor ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Only in America you'll find Chinese halal. You go to Pakistan, there is no Chinese halal, only only Chinese restaurant. Here in America, it's just Chinese halal restaurant, Korean halal restaurant, mashallah. Here we are blessed in America. So if we can build this unity by coming and building unity, brothers and sisters, inshallah, Allah will bless us. So let me end with this. 
As we are coming from different backgrounds, we Muslims must learn how to appreciate diversity. And unfortunately, it is not an unfortunate because this is the history of all communities in America. You know, our masajid, our Islamic centers are still managed, you know, based on ethnic management. You go to Indonesia and Mashallah, people know Indonesian masjid, Bangladeshi masjid, Pakistani masjid. But let me just tell you here tonight, brothers and sisters, there is no guest when you come to any masjid. Don't feel any guest. Because this is the house of Allah. So let's begin in the house of Allah to be a part of the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then let me end with this, brothers and sisters. Racism really in America is an evil. But Islam also at the same time had seen racism as an evil. And that's why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam once, you know, Bilal radiallahu anhu, as you know the story with Abu Dhar al-Ghifari. And, you know, he had an argument. Abu Dhar al-Ghifari was a very respectful Arab. And Bilal ibn Rabah, you know, came from, let's say he's not, he's an immigrant, let's say. <laughs> like we are here immigrant in America. So they have an argument. Let's say Indonesian, in American, Shamsi Ali, had an argument with uh, someone who is Caucasian, white guy. What they will say to me, maybe they'll say, hey, you are a little guy from Asia, right? So what Abu Dhar said to Bilal ibn Rabah, yeah, ibn Sauda, hey, son of a black woman. And it is deeply an insult. To Bilal ibn Rabah. He came to Rasulullah Sallam report. He said, Ya Rasulullah, he called me Ibn al Sauda. And Rasulullah Sallam called Abu Dhar and said, Did you say that? And he said, Yes. And Rasulullah Sallam said to him, Innaka rajulun fika jahiliya. You are a man that still has that remnants of jahiliya. You are still jahiliya. You have a jahiliya. So, brothers and sisters, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had come as the champion of human equality, as the champion of racial equality. And we must represent that teaching by teaching American around. But let's begin with our own self, with our own community, insha'Allah ta'ala. Aqulu qawli hadha astaghfirullah. Thank you so very much for your attention. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.